Hi right, guys, we are at the Deep Cool booth and Nick is here. He's going to be showing us a number of new coolers that they've got. They've got three different series and they've got this V3 uh, upgrade. And first of all, we're going to have a look at the Gamax. And just tell us really, Nick, what the uh, the difference is with this V3. V3, yeah, okay. From the V3, we are using a brand new chamber design. It's called double chamber. So it's uh, it has better efficiency and lower noise. And also on the palm, if you can see, uh, it uses a frosted look. Uh, and also, it, when it's completely black when it's power off, so it has the game on feeling when you ignite it. The, uh, yeah. And so, I can see that we've got some RGB uh, going on, but is it addressable or are we just fixed with that? It's 12 volt regular RGB, not addressable. Yeah. Okay. But we can obviously change the different colors, can we? And oh, how, yeah. do we, how do we do that? For sure. We have a controller, a wire controller here, so you can control that uh, like this. And also, you can change the speed using this button in the middle. You can switch it off, holding for five seconds, and it's off. Five seconds, and it's on. And also, you can control that with the motherboard, of, of course. Yeah. All right, and uh, I guess the only thing over to say is uh, pricing, availability. When are we look, what are we looking at with that? OK. Uh, the price of the uh, 120 version is uh, 69 US dollar. Uh, it's going to be available this August. The tw uh, 240 ver version is uh, 79 and uh, available in this August as well. Next up is the Castle series. Obviously, we've got the V2 just over on the uh, on Nick's side, and then we've got this new series here. Uh, slight difference with the fans and also the pump. Uh, tell us more about it. Okay, so first of all, for the EX, uh, we're using a performance fan over here. It's called TF120S. It uses uh, our patent two-layer blade. Uh, and also the frame helps to increase the fan volume, uh, the air volume, and also the pressure, and also canceling the noise. Uh, for the pump itself, we're using a double chamber. It helps to increase efficiency and lower the noise. Besides that, behind the copper base, we're adding 25% more scalped fins, so it helps to absorb the heat a lot and increasing the heat absorption in the surface area. Uh, well, you've also got anti-leak, haven't you, on the... On the this design, well, yes. this new one here. Yes, first of all, on V2, of course, and also on V3. Uh, and actually, for us, all of the coolers in future will have this technology. Okay. Yeah. And the pump, uh, we can unscrew the top, can't we? And we can change to different designs. Yes, uh, show us that. Yes, definitely. Uh, so here, you can twist this cap off like that. The logo chip has four directions. Uh, so you can always adjust it, make sure this is in the right direction when you install the uh, cooler. For us, we'll include two chips uh, in the package. Uh, one is our original GamerStorm one and uh, also a plain one. So you can always uh, get your own sticker, make your favorite one like this Thor's hammer, put it on and put it in. And uh, are these going to be able to be purchased from your website or, uh, you know, Will people be able to buy them, or what's uh, the? Yes, uh, it's already available on Amazon.com today, oh, okay. and the price of the uh, 241 is 119 US, and for the 361 is 159. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it will be first on Amazon.com, then available globally, step by step. Yeah. Okay, and finally we've got the Captain series here. Uh, there is a slight shift in uh, in the difference between the different uh, coolers. Obviously, we've got no RGB here on the fans. That is, uh, there's a bit more of a focus on performance. We've got a slightly different pump as well. So tell us more about that. Okay, as you said, this is a more of a performance focus. So first of all, we're using the TF120S fans, just like the Castle EX double layer pattern fan and a, a special frame. And also, we're using this double ch uh, double chamber design to lower the noise and also increase the efficiency. And in matter of the look, we're also using a uh, mat, uh, metal pipe instead of the glass one in the last version. So it's more uh, sturdy and strong, and also it gives you the gaming feeling and it uh, helps to dis dissipate the heat. In matter of the look outside, it's upgraded on the Captain Pro version, so uh, the LED stands more outwards. That is a 12 volt RGB because we're performance focused. And that's got a controller to alter the, uh, the colors, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So the uh, also the controller and also available for the motherboard control for all the major sync. Yeah, I guess another question would be um, on all of these coolers. 
Um, what sockets are covered? Do we do we have Threadripper support as well? Yes, for sure. It goes all the way to Threadripper TR4. Yeah. And for the Captain series, uh, what are we looking at in terms of availability and also pricing? Yeah, they will become uh, available in this month in June, uh, and the uh, the price of them for the black one 240 is 105 US, uh, and for the two, uh, 360 version is uh, one. 135 and for the white version of each size will be five US more. Okay, yes, that was another thing I was going to say. Uh, there's black and white versions of uh, the different sizes available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all available in the June. Okay, thanks, Nick. And that's all from Deep Core. Cool.